Hello. I actually was very hesitant about filming this video because tomorrow I am filming my final for my TV class already. Girl, this week I'm literally like just in my producing midterm two days ago and now my TV final tomorrow. It's kind of crazy. For those of you who don't know, my name is Mia. I am a sophomore at NYU in Tisch and I'm majoring in film and television production. This semester, I have been taking a TV production class, which has been in a TV studio. It's a nine hour class, two days a week, and it's been pretty intense, but luckily I've had the chance to kind of show you guys a little bit what that day has looked like through my other videos. But it is already finals time, and since you guys know, I have always been the first director in this class because of rotations. I am gonna be the first person to shoot their <laughs> final. But basically, I wasn't sure if I wanted to film this because obviously, Obviously I want to be really focused and there's gonna be so much going on so I wasn't sure if like trying to keep the vlog in mind would be a problem but then I was also like if I was in high school still how much I would have loved to see a little bit of the pre-production process and everything that goes into like planning the short film after I've finished filming I'll show you guys my floor plan and the screenplay stuff that I actually made in my production book to prepare for this and to give out to my crew and cast and then I will show the finished project at the end, so hopefully it turns out good. Today is Thursday. I have my stop motion class that I have to leave for in like 20 minutes, but I just ran to CVS and printed out a bunch of photos because the walls are gonna be very like a collage. It's kind of giving that like delicate, honestly toxic Lana Child aesthetic. A lot of pinks. And then I went downstairs and I printed out all the screenplays and all the papers and stood there and stapled everything. I think it was like over 100 pages, which is kind of gross, but it's just best to print it because no one's supposed to have their phone on them on set, so it's just the most convenient. Right now I'm gonna label all of the printouts with everyone's name so they're ready to go and then organize the photos so they're ready to go too because tonight I have a safety class for film that we have to take. It only started last week and I only have it for four weeks, so I'll be done before Thanksgiving, which is really nice, but it's required. Required. It's a four hour class, so I have that until 10 p.m. tonight, which is not good. I'll probably be sleep tomorrow. So I'm trying to get as much done as possible right now. Here is my lovely little stack of everything and I stapled it all downstairs. Let's start labeling this. Okay, I'm gonna try and not be too redundant with what I'm explaining, but every morning that I have to direct, I usually wake up pretty early, and the night before this day, I got two dozen donuts from Krispy Kreme for all of the crew and the cast of the day, and then I kept all of my makeup stuff and props that I brought in this bag, and then I had everyone else bring their props and everything else. So this was kind of the green room table, which was crazy. Here's Harley doing Rebecca's makeup. She did so good. Basically, this all happened really fast because I didn't really get much time to film, but here's like a slow-mo video because it was so quick of everyone wrapping up the set. It was great. And then our 30 minute lunch break, which was also a little crazy, something I packed from earlier. And then here's a quick shot of the prop room just for fun, because why not? And then that morning I got Starbucks for Rebecca and myself. Little treat. How many hours of sleep did you get? Sleep. He didn't sleep. Sleep? <laughs> I don't know. I'm good. He doesn't know what is it. Although this day killed me probably the worst out of any this semester, I went straight to the editing lab and I dumped all of my footage into my hard drive so that I could just have it straight away. It took so long though, so didn't end up getting home until about like 6.40 and then straight after that managed to make it out and tried this amazing Italian restaurant that Caitlin found. Here's the name of it that I'm gonna show now if you wanna go check it out. It was so good and then I literally just crashed. I edited my final for the following like month or so and you can even see it. I vlogged it a little bit throughout like the past weeks just in my other vlogs for a while. I did some watercolor animations for that. So I sat at the table one morning and just painted a lot of stuff that I went and scanned at the Tisch 
animation lab and then I cut all of that out with Photoshop to make them PNG so that I could layer them however I wanted and then I also did some more editing on top of some of the watercolors, a lot of hours into that. Obviously, we are not in New York anymore. First of all, I filmed this vlog like almost two months ago now, so it's been a little while, but I really wanted to try and capture like my final for my studio class, which definitely think it's been my favorite class that I've ever taken at NYU so far. Would highly recommend. I learned so much about like what it's like to work in a studio and every single person has to rotate and do every single crew role all the time. So it really forces you to actually learn every role, even the ones that you don't like and you're not very good at. Before I play my final short film at the very end of this, I just wanted to like really quickly, I'm gonna try not to ramble, talk through what I did to prepare and then show you some of the documents and drawings that I made to get ready for this shoot. First of all, my teacher kept all of our information and stuff in a drive on Google and usually I had, so one of my sound classes I had freshman year, we had production books that were due with every project and my professor made us print everything out but my professor this semester she just had the production books on google drive virtually which was really great because we didn't have to print a lot of paper just a lot more convenient everyone actually wrote their own scripts and it's not required one person shot a scene from pulp fiction so it's really just kind of like up for whatever but it was kind of fun to be able to shoot your own thing i wrote the script for mine i had some notes for my teacher and we workshopped it after seeing the final product i think it was the screenplay Play and the screenwriting that lacked the most and so that's what I am going to be working on from that but I found my actress she's in Tish we actually met first day freshman year when we moved in and then we never really like saw each other again but I, we follow each other on Instagram and I was looking for an actress for a different studio project reached out to her she wasn't available and then I don't know why I was just like wanted to reach out to her for my final and she said yes and the timing worked out perfectly for when I was filming once I had the first draft of the screenplay we met at a coffee shop and talked about everything and I told her about the role and then like what she would need to bring for costuming and what my ideas were for makeup and props and everything and she actually had so many props that kind of fit the aesthetic but she volunteered to bring in which was so nice pre-production I also drew out a floor plan I did it on this like big sketchbook paper I had because then when we went into film my assistant director just taped it to the studio wall so anyone while they were setting up could just walk over and go look at it without like having a phone or anything or printing one out for everyone we had to make a pitch for it to pitch everyone in our studio before shooting the week before everyone just kind of gave notes and got an idea of what they had to do for each film so this was my pitch i made this on google slides pretty straightforward pretty simple a lot of the time that i spent pre-production was printing out all the booklets for everyone depending on each person Person, I would print out different things for their little packet that I stapled. I brought on a second assistant director just because time management and the ambitious setup. I had one of my friends be my art director, I had a lighting director, and I had a makeup artist, so it was really fun. And just like the same thing with meeting with my actress, I met with all of them individually and went over what I wanted and what we needed for the day of shooting. We also had someone who actually works as a lighting director. She came in one day when we all had our lighting plans and we drew them out on the board, we drew our sets on the board, and then like one by one she would go and she would give us lighting recommendations and which lights to light and gels to use and just like a lot of that stuff which was really great. Day of shooting, four of us shot in a day. We all had two hours to film, which meant that we only had a 30 minute break for lunch, which was a little crazy. So it was like, so go, go, go. We shot and then afterwards I spent so many hours editing. Finals was kind of crazy. I would spend like, like a ridiculous amount. Like I had two days where I only edited as it was getting closer to finals. I spent like eight hours each day editing. Also for post-production, I did do some watercolor animations. So I just watercolor painted some little pieces and some backgrounds. And then I had to go into tips 
Fish and I went to the animation lab. I didn't vlog it, but I used Toon Boom Harmony, which I learned last year to do like really quick animations over the watercolor background. It wasn't super time consuming, which was great. That was basically it. And then the last day of class, we got a theater in the basement of Tish for my whole class and we screened everyone's film. And it was just so fun to see everyone's because everyone's was so different and everyone did like a different genre. I mean, obviously I did a drama kind of sitcom comedies. Someone did a music video. She choreographed the dancing, which was insane because I could never thriller, horror-esque ones too. It was just so cool because everyone's were so different. Was hoping it would be helpful if I could like give you some visuals on like my very student planning-esque for this. It's been a crazy semester. I'm finally finished with the semester, which is so exciting. I've been reading so much. I'm actually like 10 pages away from finishing Call Me By Your Name. So as soon as I turn this camera off, I am gonna be finishing it because I'm so close. Thanks for watching and I will play the short film for you now. been so much. Um, school's been all right. Busy, you know, I, I just finished my last college application, so. No, I don't really get my hopes up about anything. Um, so you're not let down, right? We've actually been dating for two years now. Hung out with dad for a little before I came down. It was, it was actually really fun. I don't, I don't know what we'll do after graduation. He wants to move to the East Coast, and I've kind of applied all over. So, um... tell you about something that I've never told anybody before and I didn't know what to do and I did it by myself because I just didn't have anybody to go to I need to tell somebody so um I had an abortion. Um, two months ago, and I'm, I'm, I'm afraid that people will be upset with me if I tell them. I don't know what a mother should do or what that really looks like, and I miss you. Who is that? Did someone just call you mom? Is that a kid? Do you have another kid? Please, please don't lie to me. No, don't tell me to calm down. Do you have another family? Is that, is that, is that why you You've been returning my mail, is that why you never call? Is that, is that why you left me here? No, let me, let me hear you say it. Thirteen years. 
That's all I wanted to hear. You were never starting up to show up. Hello? Oh, oh my god, mom, hi. 